all Kodak Radio listeners. Today we are continuing with the book Living Spring through the medium Jika Shabir and the, the spirit Emmanuel. Today, chapter 5. Can you go? Come unto me. It was said by Jesus in Matthew 11 verses 28. Believers, you're going to the master's school, heeding his blessed consolations. Spiritual instructors, repeat it in order to communicate vibrations of spiritual comfort in their listeners. Everyone listens to the words of Christ, who invites the troubled mind and the tormented heart to seek refreshing embrace. However, if it is easy to hear and repeat the Lord's come unto me, how difficult the go to him is. Here, the Master's words are poured out like a um, vitalizing bomb, but the bonds of immediate gratification are just too strong. There, the divine innovation is heard amidst, amidst promises of renewal for the redemptive journey, but the prison of discouragement isolates the spirits behind its unyielding bars. Yonder, the call of the Most High soothes the sorrows of the disillusioned soul, but breaking free from obstacles comprised of people and things, situations and seemingly pressing private interest is almost impossible. Jesus our Saviour, opens his loving, compassionate arms to us. A life focused on him becomes enriched with imperishable values, and in the shade of his heavenly teachings, we press onward through sanctifying toils towards our universal homeland. All believers may hear his consoling appeal, but very few themselves um, show themselves to be valorous, valorous enough in the faith to go in search of his company. In short, it is very pleasant to hear the come unto me. However, can you truthfully say that you can go? This is a question that Emmanuel is asking us today. Can you go? Jesus says, come unto me, which means join me in this search for heavenly um, attributes. If we think, where are we in this world in this time now, with everything that is going on on earth, I think it is time that we let go of this earthly things. We are being called to, to change our point of view so that we can focus and take Jesus' hand so that we can focus on heavenly virtues. And in the beginning of the chapter, Emmanuel says, Believers, you can do the master's call. We hear the master's call, answering the call of Jesus, come unto me. What will our answer be? Heeding his blessed consolation, spiritual instructors, repeat it in order to communicate vibrations of spiritual comfort to the listeners. Are you one of this spiritual instructors that is repeating the words of Jesus. We are only the instruments so that we can um, have the same voice. And in this time, especially now, we should be this medium between Jesus and God and the earth so that we can tell everybody to come unto to Jesus to follow his footsteps, to
to in this redemptive journey that we are, um, especially in these days, being asked to let go of all things in this world and to focus on the good, always focus on the good and focus on the love. And in short, he says, it is very pleasant to hear the command to me. However, can you trustfully say that you can go? So let's ask ourselves this question. Jesus, our Savior, opens his loving, compassionate arms to us today. And this is how beautiful Emmanuel is reminding us. So that we should not go into um, fear and um, not trust where we are going, but to, to know that this is a heavenly, a universal, we are on our way towards the universal homeland, he's telling us. So let's keep our focus on that. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we will see each other next week, and let's keep our eyes on the good Let's keep our eyes on, on Jesus, on the example that he is to us. Especially this last six months, just before Christmas, but it's Christmas every day. So let's celebrate this beauty, this love. Today, actually, I watched um, with Zali this um, beautiful um Things for Children through the Spirit Society of Virginia. And it's a reminder to be on Jesus' team. So with this, I think I want to add with that. Be with Jesus' team. And this team is to be with him, to go with him, to go, um, they, he says, unto him. And to... Be kind and to do good and to see the good and to speak the good and do the good. Especially um, now that people need to um, hear the good in the world. And so that our vibrations will be high. And so that we can give out this wonderful love and example. Um, and um, mirror the example that Jesus is to us all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.